<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Troll Show. I really feel like a TV show host now saying that. It's funny. Um, yeah, we're back with the second topic. Um, this topic will um, be related to the Asian part of the world. So let's jump right back into the map here. Um, Brunei. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, for today's show, I picked three topics. One beach destination, which was Belize. One city location, which is Brunei, which we're going to talk about now, the, the capital there. And then New Zealand will be the mountain destination for the end. And Brunei is uh, a country in Southeast Asia, and it's right in the middle now. So it's kind of off the radar from, for most tourists. But I really wanted to check it out. Um, if you scroll in, it's a really weird shape, actually. So it's kind of um, divided by a little bay, but those parts are both part of Brunei. And it's a super tiny country, basically. It's uh, There's not so much to do and see other than checking out the capital, which has a really funny name. Um, Bandar Seri Begawan. So this is the, the name of the capital. And um, this capital has one of the most beautiful mosques that I've personally seen so far. So if you just look at some Google images here, this mosque, uh, the Masid Omar Ali Saifuddin, that's probably not correctly pronounced, but you kind of know what I'm talking about. That that mosque really took my breath away. And also the sunsets were really nice there. Um, so I prepared a bunch of pictures and videos for you guys again. And yeah, let's jump right in. So, I'm going to show you the pictures again now. Um, so, there's a, a few things to do, and that's one of the things. Uh, basically, they have houses on tilts. I think that's how you pronounce this, right? Tilts. And you can kind of walk around there, and it's kind of really, it's a really nice area. Wait, why is my... Uh, oh, wait, I'm in Zoom. Ah, okay, now it works. <laughs> And those are real houses from people living there, right? So um, it's, it's kind of a tourist attraction at the same time, even though there's not so many tourists around. Um, but that's what people would usually check out. You can walk around there um, and see how the people live. It was uh, pretty interesting. Like this house here was uh, kind of a collection of, I don't know, a lot of colorful plants and pottery. <laughs> I'm not sure if they actually sell stuff. Somebody's doing their laundry here on the left side. Also nice. <laughs> um, that's the bridge. I think the bridge is really impressive, actually. Um, I think I have a picture here of this in zoomed in. Uh, it's a really nice looking bridge if, uh, if you compare it to bridges in Europe, maybe. I really liked uh, this one. And um, yeah, as you can see, the weather was kind of not the best, but... I like these kind of pictures where you have dark clouds and you see like storms coming in. It's always, I don't know, it gets me excited somehow. I'm not sure why. Um, <laughs> um, and in this picture, you can see the bridge and the kind of houses in the foreground. And you can also see the boat. And that's basically how you get around from one place to the other because there's no road connection over there. Uh, the bridge in the background, obviously, that's connected to the mainland. Um, but the locals, they all have a boat and everyone who's living in these houses, they kind of can park their boat somewhere underneath, I guess, or if it's high tide, because now it's relatively low tide, so in high tide, the water rises up a bit more. So everyone will have like a kind of a little private harbor. <laughs> and the sunsets, they were really amazing. I had a lot of sunset pictures, uh, only randomly picked a few of them, um, but... I spent, I think, four nights, and every night we had like a really nice sunset with some crazy cloud formation formations. This is uh, looks more like an explosion or something. <laughs> oh, I got a little video from sunrise. Uh, yeah, no sun. I think that's a sunset. Um, and every day, like, there's a sunset spot where you can travel to, and lots of people are chilling out there. We were playing guitar and having some beer, uh, watching the sunrise, basically. Um, uh, sunset, sorry. I always, I always, always mix these up. Look how quickly it sets. That was uh, without any kind of speed up. That was real life speed, by the way. <clears throat> yeah, 
more more sunset pictures and it really changed it changed from one second to the other you know and you're constantly looking around oh look at these clouds look at that and the, the funny thing is it always amazes me like i've seen so many awesome sun sunsets and sunrises but every time i see it again it's like it's just so amazing every time i see it <laughs> i can't wait to see it again because now I always sleep when the sun is rising at five in the morning, but when I'm traveling, I'm always getting up early, especially when I'm hiking and you're on the mountain, you know, and you wake up um, because you went to bed really early, basically at eight or so, totally exhausted. So it's a kind of way different rhythm compared to the normal life rhythm. I uh, got more. Anyone tired of sunset pictures? <laughs> I'm not sure how many more are coming. But should, shouldn't be too, too much more. But yeah, that was just one of them. And this is the mosque. I, don't ask me to pronounce the name again because I certainly can't remember the name. But man, this mosque is so amazing. I went back three times uh, there. Um, also in the night. In the night, it looks really cool too. And this is all like proper real gold, by the way. Uh, it's a really rich country. Way, way richer than the other countries in Southeast Asia. This is one of my favorite shots actually from that day. The reflection of the golden dome in the water uh, in front of the pond. It kind of looks a bit like art, I think. That's that's something I would hang at my uh, on my wall. And here we got the first panorama. So you basically have this big lake, artificial lake, in front of the mosque. And you get these amazing sunsets at the same time. And the perfect mirror image, basically. So everything is kind of reflecting in the water here. Um, this is how it looks when it's uh, getting a bit later in the day or in the night. And then you have this green color coming in. Uh, now the quality is not that good anymore because it's a panorama at nighttime. So this is like a, a shot without a tripod. And for that, the camera is doing a really good job. But that's a Sony a6000, by the way. Um, yeah, I guess you can see why I like this moss so much. That was just amazing. I have a small video as well, actually. Oh, the, the thunderstorm in the background. And there's a small random boat on the left side. I don't know uh, what's the deal with that one, to be honest. Ah, yeah, and then uh, another thing uh, I always do is I try out the local food. Um, and my golden rule is to try everything at least once, even if I know I probably don't like it, like seafood. I'm not a big fan of seafood, by the way. Um, but especially when I'm somewhere with fresh food coming out of the ocean right in front of you, then I'm at least going to try it. I'm not going to say, nah, I don't like it. But you can try it. If you don't like it after you tried it, then it's totally fine not to eat it. But if you don't try it, it's like kind of being close-minded. And this is um, one of the main stores where the locals go to eat. So I was staying with couch surfers as usual. And they showed me like the places that they would go. Um, it's not like you have like really touristic places anyway. But <laughs> um, I can't remember what, what, what that was like kind of a sausage in egg or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know the name of it. Maybe it's this is probably the name. Um, oh, and this was so nice. This stuff, it's sweet. It's like a dessert. Um, Kagang. Ah, no, this is what they put on top. I think this is the cinnamon or like the sugar. I don't know. Um, but that was super, super yummy. And it's kind of like, kind of looks like a warehouse. Um, oh, I got a little video from the food as well. Let's see. Now ah, they put onions as well. So they put some stuff inside as well, basically. And then they put uh, the rest on top. See, without the video, I wouldn't have remembered that. Ah, this is the, the the dessert. And that was so good. It was huge as well. I think I had two of them for myself because I ate one and I was like, fuck, this is so tasty. Give me another one. It's kind of a bit like a really, really fat pancake. I, I would describe it maybe. Ah, oh, that was really good. Here. Yeah. This is probably the name. If you want to write it down, you can pause the video. <laughs> And yeah, it's another video from that nice uh, um, reflection. I have to set up the camera first. 
it's kind of with the waves it makes it really cool nicer than uh, having like a, a perfect Im mirror image ah this is how it sounds when uh, when prayer time starts <laughs> food commercials yeah praying time and I think I have a GoPro video as well I oh, know I don't I don't ah that's already it yeah so that was Brunei um as I said it's a really really tiny country but um if you're in the area I think it's always worth checking out um and next time I'm actually gonna I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back but I'm gonna see all the uh, other stuff around here so I'm gonna travel to the to kind of this area from Saravak to Miri. There's a lot of cool stuff to see here, but when I was in Brunei, I only had a few days sadly, so I couldn't really uh, stay too long. Yeah, so that's Brunei. That's your city location. Um, I'm gonna cut here for YouTube again. So city locations generally, I'll, I'll probably have. Probably, I'd say, 60% of my material is mountain-related, 30% uh, ocean-related, and maybe 10% or less city-related, because I don't spend too much time in the 